Hey, and welcome back to another video in the AI Shorts video series. Today, I'd like us to look at ChatGPT and how you might use it to do a lesson plan. And really, it doesn't even have to be a lesson plan. You might think of it as a way to generate a unique assignment. It might actually be a group activity, like an in-class discussion. I think there's some real possibilities here in using this tool, like in all the other cases of writing samples we're working on here, these prompts, if you will, in ChatGPT. I definitely recommend that you go in and edit the final product. I never like to say that whatever you do in AI should result in a final version of something. You must put your own stamp on it, I think ethically and just practically, because you're not going to always get a great output from the bot that is writing based on the prompts that you give it. So let's take a look at its use now. So if I wanted to use ChatGPT to write a lesson plan, it's relatively easy. Um, and this is one I've tried out before. Can you please write me a lesson plan? Um, by the way, at this point, we want to put in here in our next string. Again, this is saying a lesson plan. Um, the topic is going to be determined here in a second. It's going to be about cultural relativism. But I, I want to say for a college anthropology class, and the reason for that is I don't want ChatGPT to write something for K-12. So write a lesson plan for a college anthropology class in which students learn about the challenges of, or I should, maybe I'll say associated with cultural relativism. Check out my other video in which I talk about prompts and prompts are really the key foundation of using any AI. What you put into it is going to dramatically affect what it spits out. So let's try this out and see if we're satisfied with the results. If we're not, we can always, um, go back in here and ask it to update or change some things based on limitations. For example, in this setup, if we don't have certain materials or we don't want to spend the amount of time that it's telling us in the lesson plan, we could actually go back and, and change some of those parameters. Okay, so this is actually really good. It has the materials here, classroom setup. It has an intro section. It has a section two. And by the way, I've looked at this particular prompt before. Um, and I've discovered that what it, it, it produces here is quite spot on in terms of anything that I could write. So, I mean, it's it's really quite amazing. Again, in this case, you could adjust this. Uh, that's a pretty long class. You probably wouldn't want to take up an hour and a half or so. But it has an assessment uh, project here or process and then also extension activities. And then it talks about here what the goal of the plan is. So you could even state that or use that as your um, expected outcome of this particular activity. Now, let me try this. I'm going to say, this is great. I like to compliment it. Could you modify for a distance education class that is asynchronous? And that is our type of class, right? So it's a class that doesn't meet in person. And I said asynchronous here, cause I really hope, again, I say, hope I haven't tried this before that chat GPT will recognize this is not a synchronous class on Zoom. So let's see what it, it does to revise this first version here. So it kind of got it, right? It says here, an online learning platform, Canvas or Blackboard, so it kind of knew that. Multimedia resources, handouts, or just and a discussion forum. So this is kind of exactly what I wanted to do, and you could you know compare the two versions here, but this is really cool that we're able to go in and write a lesson plan in the first place. Again, always modify this for your class, but I think it's cool that ChatGPT understands with this additional prompt that I wanted to actually change it to make it form an asynchronous online class. It's still generating here, but you get the idea. And again, I think you might really consider using ChatGPT here to create a lesson plan for one of your classes, whether it's face-to-face -face or online. That will be it today here, talking about how to do a lesson plan in ChatGPT. Again, whether or not you decide to use it is totally up to you, but this video hopefully gives you some insights about moving forward with this application. Thanks for listening. I'll be back with additional videos in the AI Shorts video series.